Hey guys, it's me, Kieran McLean, back again with another video for this week. Now this video is a video about just kind of reminiscing from where I was for about four years ago, compared to where I want to be in about four years time. I thought it was one that I could upload on YouTube and then even in three or four years time we can review this video and see how much of my plans for the future I've actually managed to hit. <laughs> We can also use this video to compare where I was four years ago compared to where I am at this current moment in time as I'm filming this video for you. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So four years ago from the time of filming this video, it would have been like April time 2017. Now that was during that time exactly four years ago, I would have been in college, probably sitting my A-level exams or at least prepping for them. Now, at this point, I wasn't too bad, although my kidney function was really bad. I didn't have much energy and there wasn't much I could do. It was just a couple months before I started dialysis and that's where the main low hit. So, as I've mentioned in previous videos, it was in June of 2017 when I started my peritoneal dialysis. And it was at that point when I had to have an admission into hospital to have the operation to have my... A PD catheter for dialysis put in, as well as my one of my native kidneys removed. So it was during this time I spent a lot of time in hospital, whether it was recovering from operations, or going in for training for dialysis, or even just frequent blood checks just to make sure my kidney function wasn't quickly deteriorating. On top of that, I would also spend eight hours every single night throughout the night on dialysis. So that didn't leave time for me to either like work, find a hobby, live a social life. I was very limited in what I could do at that time. Now comparing this to the present day, that's already a huge difference. I'm no longer on dialysis as I've had a kidney transplant. So my nights are usually free up, uh, freed up and I don't have the commitment of uh, staying on a machine for eight hours every night. So that allows me to have later nights if I wanted to, where I don't have to think about setting up my machine and getting on it. It allows me to have more of a social life in the evenings if I'd like to, which because of Covid that's not happened, but who knows in the near future could be something that might happen. Now we are still visiting hospital weekly, which was a very similar situation to back then, as I'm having my plasma exchanges and bloods done just to make sure my kidney function is at a comfortable level. However, I've not had any serious operations or anything since my transplant, so that's already another bonus on our, on our list. And there has been talks from a consultant that the plasma exchanges may become every fortnight to the point where I may no longer need them in the near future. So that would, come, that would probably rule out every um, commitment I'd have to hospital. I mean, other than the blood tests and the clinic appointments, but they're mandatory for every single transplant patient. And they only take up a little bit of time, so I can still live a life around those. Now, also during that time, I've started this YouTube channel. I started this Twitch. These are things I'd love to be able to grow over time, as I'm not sure how much or how long I'm going to have to try and balance my life with hospital appointments and stuff and at what point I'll be fit enough to work. So whilst I'm not able to, I might as well see what I can do with this Twitch and YouTube, see how much I can grow it. And who knows, there's a chance in the future I might be able to just live by doing this. So now we're rolling on to where I'd want to be in 2025. Now that's only four years ago. So realistically, that's not too much time, but there's certain things I'd like to be able to hit and be able to have had by the time we hit this mark. Although it's asking a lot from me, but who's up for a challenge? Anyone? I'll give it a go. Bring it on. So first things first, my absolute priority by this time is I'd love my health to be in a stable condition where I'm not having to nip to hospital weekly for any treatment whatsoever. I'd love to be in a situation where my kidney function is at a comfortable level, where I'm only having to go every few months to hospital for bloods and a clinic. Now on top of that, I'd love to have some sort of financial income of my, my own, 
whether it's I have a job at that point or whether it's there's a chance of my Twitch and YouTube growing. Whatever it is, preferably if I'm self-employed, that would be an absolute dream to manage between my health so I can work on my own times. But whatever the um, case, I'd love to have some sort of financial income. I'd love to have been able to visit maybe three other countries by that time. That's asking a lot at the moment with the pandemic and who knows where the future holds with that. But maybe just to go on holiday more and visit more of the world as in the last five years, I've not been able to do that at all. Last time I went on holiday abroad, in fact, was probably 2016. I would love to have some stability in my life where it's with, through relationships or where I'm living. So I've been with my girlfriend for almost a year and a half now. We're hoping to get a, um, our own place soon. So hopefully we can have our own place. Somewhere we can call home and somewhere where we can see our futures being. I'd also love for my um, Twitch and YouTube to hit certain landmarks. Maybe even if we hit like maybe 500 to 1000 subscribers on YouTube and maybe if we hit 2000 on Twitch, I don't know if they're accurate or doable, but let's set those landmarks and hopefully we can review back on these in the future and see how close or far we got from them. Bear in mind, we have four years to do these, so hopefully these marks and these hair targets are doable but we can, well, like i said before earlier in the video we can review these points down the line and see how many we've managed to hit now i know this video wasn't a very informative one it was more just about me and my life and what i'd want to hit but i hope to introduce more of this content on my channel as it is a channel about me so i'm hoping you guys are still interested in this for those of you who are here and watched all the way through it, thank you so much for watching and keeping in tune. It means the world to me, honestly. There's only so many topics I can talk about in ge uh, generally um, related to kidney disease. So I feel like if I stick to those sort of videos, it's going to dry out very quickly and I'm going to run out of ideas. So I think this is the right time to start introducing more of my own targets, my personal life and experience into the videos. Thank you so much for watching again this week. Take care and I'll see you next Friday with the next video. Good bye.